Yes, this is Harvey Rush again, and I'm back again. I have a another one of the cases or causes of death that I wanted to talk to you about in series. And I thought, since I have it just about together, this would be a good time to bring it to you. This time we are going to talk about the subject of Alzheimer's, where time separates the mind from the body. Repeating that again for you, Alzheimer's, where time separates the mind from the body. Now, Alzheimer's is a progressive disorder that causes brain cells to waste away and die. It is the most common cause of dementia. A continuous decline in thinking, behavioral and social skills, disrupting a person's ability to function by his or herself. Now, I want to go into Alzheimer's, but I'm going to talk to you from a standpoint of what's in my mind or in my chain of thought concerning Alzheimer's. Well, it'll be true. It'll be in direct relation to the real thing of Alzheimer's, but it comes from the inner mental aspect of me. The mind is free. It comes and goes as it pleases. It regenerates the body's, it regulates rather the body's actions. But when the mind goes, the body no longer has any real guidance. Its governance or his governing factor is in slight recess. I would say, but somewhat loosely, the mind becomes lost in space. You get that? Listen to what I'm saying now. I would say, but somewhat loosely, the mind becomes lost in space. The body continues to have its facets of movement but with no guiding factor. That happens when the mind goes. If somehow we can reconnect the two, the victim of this grave illness would become mentally regenerated. The mind is like a train with no conductor. It becomes moody and erratic. We do not have the key to stimulate his motor functions yet. But where do we look? If we had a key, could we restart the mental motors of the mind? Maybe the key is lost somewhere in time. Maybe we could retrace the steps of time and rejoin time in Alzheimer's mind. I hope you understood that. And I also hope you enjoyed it. But it is in direct relations to what Alzheimer's really is. Thank you for listening. I know that wasn't very long, but thank you for listening anyway.